So the main question of this video is, should you go to university? Hey, and welcome back to my channel. So hopefully you watched um, the first university video where I basically went through my whole university journey from me being at school and actually thinking about university to me actually doing my undergraduate and my masters. Um, so I'd recommend you watch that first just to have like an overview of like what my experience was like because I think this video will be quite influenced by that one. So number one, right, you need to figure out if you actually need a degree. If you want a job, a career in a field such as medicine, um, you want to be a lawyer or a vet or anything where you need a degree, you almost certainly need to go to university. But if you want to do one of these jobs that you need a degree in, um, try and get some experience just to confirm the fact that you want to actually do this job. I know that it is difficult to get experience, especially if you don't know anybody in the field that you want to go into, and this was the case for me as well. But, like, I managed to get some work experience with the NHS. It was only like a couple of days and it was like nowhere near enough the amount of time that I needed. Um, but try and contact them early if you are thinking about going to university. So now for the people that want to go to university and kind of see themselves getting a job at the end of it and, you know, are, are kind of sure of what they want to do after uni. Um, so if your career does not require a degree or if there are ways to get into the career without a degree like look at those other options carefully because I think in my opinion if you compare a university degree and an apprenticeship with a university degree you will get um, like qu you will get quite a lot of skills right and you'll get the theory but you'll mainly get the theory really um, but with an apprenticeship you will get those transferable skills you will be in the work setting and you will also know from very early on if you actually like the field that you want to go into um because i think in general like people that do apprenticeships at the end of their apprenticeship they will probably in most cases in my opinion earn more than somebody with a university degree because they have those skills to directly go into the job um, so I say this because in my case, when I had some hospital experience in a biomedical lab, I saw all these machines that I had no clue about. I didn't even know how they looked, how they work, nothing. And it was just very, very foreign to me. And this was during my masters, right? So I went into this lab and I was shocked at how it actually looks and how it works and the whole work environment and I was put off it a bit late, I know. Stupid, yes, I know. Um, but like, don't make that same mistake. Because you know what, university is a lot of money and it is, what, three, four years of your life. That might not seem like a lot, but believe me, it can seem like quite a long time, especially when you come out of it, not really wanting to do what you've done for the three, four years, and you realise that you're not going to use your degree. <clears throat> I think that's my situation now. <laughs> but yeah, like, have that confirmation that you actually want to do this degree. I think that is very important, and that's just something that is missed by a lot of people that actually go into university. Um, like, don't worry about being older than your course mates. That is not a, op like, that is not a problem at all. You will find many people of several ages in your course. Um, don't worry about your friends going to university and you not going to university. Like, friendship groups change all the time. If you have an interest in a field, try and get some work experience beforehand or apply to an apprenticeship first because I think it is a lot easier to start an apprenticeship and if you don't enjoy it quit the apprenticeship I am not sure on this but make sure you check it out because with a university de university degree obviously you can't just drop out whenever and still not be in debt um, and also speaking of dropping out the amount of times that I wanted to drop out is actually unreal so during my undergraduate first year was fine 
I was enjoying it. But second year, like right midway through second year, I was going through, I don't know what, but like my head was just not in the right place. And I wanted to drop out like so bad. And obviously I still be in debt for the time that I was at uni. And I was like, oh, well, I'll just finish it. And you know, I've got the full amount of debt now. And also in my masters, um, I think I wanted to drop out within like the first month, but I was scared to drop out. Um, so yeah, the one thing that I'm gonna say to you people that are at uni now, if you feel like dropping out, listen to yourself, listen to the reasons why you want to drop out and make your decision wisely. Because if you think that you are not going to use this degree, especially if you like you are early in your degree and you're not going to be taking on any of that student debt so if you tried university and you feel like it's not the best option for you like think about your willingness to drop out because you know it is three years and they are three long hard years minimum three years even longer for some courses so yeah just think about that if you are having these thoughts of dropping out I know that everyone has thoughts of dropping out anyway um, be because it does get tough but if they are regular and if you are feeling down about university and you are questioning your decisions think about it. So now for the people that don't have a freaking clue what to do. So you are at risk at being influenced by your friends, your family um, and your school right. You need to try your hardest to make your decisions yourself um they will tell you to probably just pick a course that you have some interest in that you find interesting um but if you cannot see yourself doing the job related to that course think about it carefully okay I, can't, I do wish that i kind of took a gap year and then you know actually figured out what i liked what i didn't like and just try a bunch of new stuff you are literally just coming out of school. You have literally hardly any life experience. And when you are pushed into uni, not knowing what exactly you want to do and you don't exactly know the outcome of it. So a question that you might have now, especially if you have watched the first video is, do I regret my university experience? This is a very <laughs> tricky question to answer. Right, the experience was good, okay, it was fun, it's definitely something that, like, I will remember, um, like, all the good bits and all the bad bits, there's an equal amount of them, and I think I did grow in some aspects as a person as well, but I was quite independent anyway at the start of uni, so, like, I knew how to cook for myself, and to clean up after myself, and, like, wash my clothes, um, and you know just keep myself alive and not be a pain to the people and you'd be surprised by the amount of people that are so dependent on their parents when they come to university and I think for them it might have actually been a good experience because they probably gained that independence during uni and there, there obviously are good things about university so like as I mentioned the independence that you can gain um, the friends that you make the contacts that you can create because universities tend to often hold like career events and that kind of thing and you can gain quite a few contacts from that and also like the skills that you gain from university yes those are all good points and obviously if you are set on a career or a job that is like your stepping stone to get that job that you are set on but then on the other side for the people that went to university because I have an interest in the subject or they kind of have a faint idea of what they might want to do that is when it becomes tricky um because I was in that group and obviously yes I've got these great experiences and whatnot but I am <laughs> I am 50 to 60 thousand pounds in debts because of university yes I know that this is slowly repaid after like during 30 years after graduating um and it is like a small percentage out of your wage but the debt is still hanging over your head every single day and for me always like panicking about money yes this does affect me I paid 50 to 60 thousand pounds for an experience and 
it is quite unlikely that I will actually use these pieces of paper in the future. And also I wanted to add that like only after finishing university, so like I think it was the very end of my masters that I actually figured out more about myself and I gained some clarity of who I am as a person. And you know what I learned that I actually do not enjoy working in a normal job. Um, I like being busy, I like doing stuff, I do not like working in a job where you're just static, you do the same thing every day and obviously this isn't the same case for all jobs. Like you have some jobs that like you have different things happening every single day but the thing is you still have somebody probably higher up there that is regulating everything that you do. Okay so what I want you to take away from this video is that you need to identify yourself within those three categories that I mentioned. Um, so the people that are set on a career and you need a degree. Um, the people that have a career in mind but there might be other options to actually be in that career. And the people that don't have a freaking clue. <laughs> and actually evaluate if university is the right path for you. Um, and perhaps you need some more time to figure it out and that is fine. Um, you know, you have courses with like January entry and if your course doesn't offer that you have a, basically a whole year to figure out more about yourself, develop more as a person and you know what, your mind might change completely. And the lighting is going weird, oh Jesus Christ, okay. I think the most important thing is don't give in to the pressure of university. Um, I think deciding to go to university you just get bombarded with so many other people's opinions and so much pressure and you know what it really does influence what you might do in the end and it did for me 100% um, but you need to make your choice yourself you need to evaluate all the factors um, and you need to decide if it is the best option for you like yes listen to other people's opinions and experiences and take their opinions into account but actually see if they fit into what you want to do. Because I have a younger brother I do not want him to feel like there's pressure to go to university. I want him to make that decision for himself if he decides that it is the best option for him and it will help him in life with the goals that he has then yes like 100% go for it but if you are unsure Take that time to actually evaluate your options and learn more about yourself and your interests. And don't forget that you can always join university at a later stage in life. There are people that join it after, I don't know, one, two, three years after finishing school. There are people that start university after like 10, 20 years of finishing school. So, you know, you will know when the time is right and when you are set on going to university then you will feel more confident in your decision and you will know what you're aiming for. If you are scared about, you know, missing out on opportunities by not going to university and the potential of you not being successful, just look at the amount of people that have, I don't know, unimaginable success and they do not have a degree. They literally built their success from nothing. Just think about that. It's more about you knowing yourself as a person, the skills that you have internally, and you know, this is why it's so important to actually figure out yourself um, before you go to university. If you are in the stages of deciding to go to university, please, 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 please think about it yourself. Um, and yeah because it is it is a big decision and you know the feelings of regret after university are not pleasant and so this will probably be it for the university videos and my university experience because that's all in the past um, but however if you do have questions about university please feel free to ask them I will help as much as I can um, so yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like and make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video guys. Bye! And you know, your ch mind, and you know what, your mind, and uh, that's probably putting more pressure on you, but I'm sorry. 
So, yeah, I don't know where I was going with this. 